If you're a fan of Bestall, then chances are that you have seen this. This is the TS55 plunge saw. This is Bestall's flagship tool. Absolutely lovely bit of kit. And we're joined here with Carl, who's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so as you said, uh, our flagship machine, well over one and a half million products sold. The market leader, the inventor, Festool. So why the TS55? Really easy to make accurate, clean plunge cuts with the tool, thanks to the clear identification marks. So when working with our guide rail, a 50 millimeter depth of cut. Really easy to set exact depth settings using the depth setting guide here on the front and the same with angles from minus one to plus 47 degrees. Now, I think it is worth noting that this is a corded machine, but am I right in saying that there is also a cordless model available? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. So with the 55, we also have the TSC55, which is our cordless machine, which runs off a twin 18 volt battery system, giving us 36 volts of power to give the exact same performance as our cordless machine. Lovely stuff, but am I right in saying, like, Here's the thing with the TS55, right? Like this is a lovely model and it is clear to see why people love it. So why is there a TS60 as well? So the new TS60K, a slight difference in the machine. For those of you that demand a little bit more cutting depth, that's what we have. We now have a maximum of 57 mil plunge cutting on the rail. So that little bit of extra versatility in the depth of cut. We've also refined a few of the depth setting and angle attachments just to make those angles and depths a little bit easier to set. And of course, we have a lot more versatility with this tool as we can now use it with our cross-cutting FSK range of guide rails. You mentioned the cross-cutting rails. What would be the benefits of using this kind of system? So this will allow the machine with a quick blade change using the fast fix system to be used for both first fix and second fix applications. So what I'm seeing here is with your TS55, you know, if you've heard of Festool and you know, you, you, you're trying to look for a gateway into the system, see what Festool's all about, am I right in saying the TS55 is a perfect bit of kit to pick up? Yeah, absolutely perfect. But I'm guessing, you know, if you're looking for a bit more versatility, you yeah, want to be looking a bit more at versatility and a little bit more safety as well. With the TS60K, we have a built-in function called kick backstop. So should the saw try and kick during a plunge cut, it will shut, quick, shut down quicker than a blink of an eye. So I'm thinking the kick backstop, I mean, that's a great feature to have. What else can you tell me like regarding like safety precautions with these models? So as with all Festool power tools, dust extraction is our number one priority. So the tool is designed with the dust extraction in mind from day one. And as you can see on both the saws here, we have the dust extraction port, which allows us to connect both a 27 millimeter or a 36 millimeter hose to the extractor, which of course means that we can work in a clean, healthy and safe environment. And of course, to work on UK building sites means that we can meet the dust regulations that are applicable. Uh, Carl, I've noticed these green things in the box. Uh, this one was, came with the, the TS55. What am I looking at here? Yeah, so this is an extra splinter guard system which operates on the Festool plunge cut saws and again makes us a little bit more unique to every other plunge cut saw on the market. So back to the rail with the splinter guard on it, this is what provides us with the splinter free cut on the left hand side, but to get that virtually free splinter free cut on both sides, we have this extra splinter guard. So really quick and easy to install. With the TS55 versions, we remove the plastic dust window and guide window. Unscrew your splinter guard and nut and install into the tool and locate into position. We then place the saw down onto the surface that we're going to cut into, push the splinter guard down onto that surface and lock into position. Really simple to do and on the TS60 even easier. So this time we don't have to remove the plastic window, we just install the splinter guard and tighten into position. And again, before the cut commences, push that down onto the surface and lock into position. That's simple. So splinter free cuts on both sides of the saw blade. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much for joining us, Carl. You can check both of these and the TSC55 as well over at ITS.co.uk.